Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be testing uh, the amplifier I talked about a couple weeks ago. I told you guys I was finishing up a 2-tube 500Z, yet another 2-tube 500Z, and um, I did finish it, and uh, it's just it's been a couple weeks and I've been busy, and uh, you know how the summer is, man. It's, it's all about home improvement projects and getting outside to enjoy that sunshine, so uh, right now I got my tripod back, so I'm not going to be all over the place, hopefully, with the camera. So this is... Uh, the same as you know all my other boxes. I got tune and load, on off, standby, sideband AM. You got a plate voltage meter, you got a plate current meter. Uh, this box has a, I think this is a 950 milliamp continuous duty power supply. 950 milliamp continuous duty. So you can run this box really hard if you want to, and uh, you don't have to worry about it. But then again, all my transformers and all my boxes are rated for continuous duty. They're all rated for CCS. Um, I got a couple fans on the back, in and out. You got a ground connection and a 220 volt power cord. Yes, this box runs on, well, 240 volts, you know, in America. And uh, I don't know what else to say about it. It's pretty basic. It's a 2-tube 500Z. Uh, so let's check the drive. I'm going to bring the tripod up. And I'm going to see if I can bring it closer. And if I can, I'm going to zoom in. There we go. So we got a 250 watt slug on a real bird 43 uh, peak reading meter. Let me, let me angle this a little bit for you. Boom, there we go. All right, let's check the drive. So I'm using a regular single final radio. I'm using a two pill 2879 driver. We're gonna wanna put around 200 to 240 watts somewhere in that neighborhood. We'll bring this thing beyond where it should be. Um, again, each 500Z, if you read the data sheet, should be between 900 and 1000 watts output. And we all drive them harder than that. Let's face it, we all get more than that out of them. But, um, you know, you can usually write really, really reliably run these boxes at 1,000 to 1,300 watts per tube. You're not going to blow them up instantly. Um, but it's up to you. It's up to the operator. You run it however you want. So uh, let's, uh, let's look at the drive. Let's look at the carrier first. And I got my tone generator off. So I'm just going to show you a carrier from the driver. So it's 250 watt slug. We're looking at the top scale. We've got a 50 watt carrier. Let's put the audio into it. With audio, we've got 200 and, oh, 240 watts right on the head. 240 or 230 or whatever the hell that number is. So two, 240 watts, let's say. Let's put the box on. Um, let's switch slugs. Let's go to, this is a 5,000. I could also put a 2500 in, but you know, whatever. And I'm going to zoom out. And there we go. And let's bring the tripod down a little bit so we can see the meters moving here. We are going to put it on and there's going to be a quick soft start. And uh, see, there we go. We got the full high voltage now. We're at uh, 3,500 or so, okay. Let's zoom into the meter. All right, and that's a 2,500 watt slug. The box is an AM. Let's give it the carrier. And let's see here, we've got I don't know, what is that? 250 watt carrier? Something like that? Oh, I'm sorry, 5,000 watt slug. So that was a 500 watt. Yeah, 500 watt carrier. All right. Let's get some audio. And we are loaded out. We're at 25 plus, 2,500 or so uh, PET. Let's look at the plate current draw there. You're only, you're only at you know, you're not even hitting 400 mils yet. You can still bang this box around a lot more. Volts are staying steady. Still on the key. And we're at 2,500 PEP. Tubes aren't even glowing yet. Um, I don't know what else to say. This box has my, the thing that I do with the transmit receive switching. You know, when I do this, red, green, to match my favorite kind of radios. Has sideband, performs wonderfully on sideband. The box is biased. Um, 
I don't know what else to say. All brand new parts, all brand new Penta tubes, matched tubes from Penta Laboratories. Love Penta Laboratories. Buy lots of Z's from them and bigger stuff too. Um, if you're interested in this box, it is currently available. Um, check the website, give me a ring, give me a text, give me an email, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I'm usually pretty quick about that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm hoping to make a couple more videos. I'd like to make a video about, um, I'd like to make a video about tools that I use. I've gotten an email uh, or two um, by a company and it was weird that they even, I'm gonna turn this off. I got this weird email, I'm gonna be truthful you guys. Um, it was a company that makes tools. It was a Chinese tool company. And they were saying, you know, oh, you make electronic videos and you know, we'd like to sponsor you. You can review some tools for us. And I said to the guy, I said, I think there was a language barrier or maybe there wasn't, but I said to him, you know, I don't want to get involved in that because this is just fun. You know, it's not really a business, you know, but I said, um, you know, if I review your tools, then I, I have to be honest about it. You know what I mean? Like if I, if I get a pair of pliers from you and it snaps or I don't like the grip or the, or the, the stupid rubber on the handles comes off when I'm using them, I'm going to take a big dump all over them, you know? So uh, I didn't hear a response back from that. And that made me think about tools because, you know, I'm very particular about some of the tools that I use. And, um, you know, and I, and I, I'm a tool nerd, I think in general. And, uh, I thought it'd be interesting to have a video about what tools I use as an amplifier builder. Um, and then I'd also like to make some videos about mobiles. Um, because I, I don't know if the, the mobile market is dead. Um, certainly not with DC boxes, but I think guys are afraid to run AC boxes in the mobile nowadays. I think that's a, that's a time that's passed, I think a little bit. Um, and I think the lack of breaks nowadays with AC classes, um, there's a lot less breaks with AC nowadays and there's a lot less guys running AC mobiles. And I'd like to talk about that a little bit um, for those who are interested. And um, But lots of cool stuff coming from Mountaintop. I uh, hope to see you guys soon. And uh, again, boxes available. Let me know if you're interested. Have a great day and I'll talk to you.